Hey guys, welcome back to Newcom's YouTube channel. Today we are unboxing and reviewing the Rapu Railmo Pre 5 wireless mechanical keyboard. Let's get right to the unboxing. So let's take a closer look at this uh, weird but very interesting and funky looking keyboard. So let's talk about what makes this keyboard look so unique from the gap that is here between the, uh, the actual shell and the top plate to the very unique looking keycaps which are round and when you look at the side it almost looks like a, the bottom of a cupcake which uh, Rapu calls these keycaps uh, dot keycaps because everything has to have a name now um, and the funky colors that it comes in so it comes in white, blue, pink and purple along with the uh, Realmo Air 1 which is the mouse that comes alongside uh, the Realmo Pre 5 uh, wireless mechanical keyboard so the colors are funky uh, and the keyboard just it looks really funky and very eye-catching to say the least so uh, that's pretty much what I can say about the design I mean it is very interesting looking and uh, something else that is worth noting is that there are no retractable feet this is this is how this keyboard will sit on your desk you can't adjust the angle it already has a preset angle which is comfortable enough for most people so there's that but if you were looking for like a retractable feed to adjust it incrementally you don't get that it's just a fixed angle and now it is a compact keyboard so you're missing uh, a few keys uh, but with the combination of FN and the F row keys as well as the arrow keys you get to uh, enjoy most of what you will find on a regular full-sized keyboard or at least all of what you can find in a full-size keyboard it's just you know it's the price to pay for getting a compact keyboard uh, now another thing to note in the design here is the the weird placement of the arrow keys it's a little awkward and it definitely takes some getting used to as well as the shift key which is uh, quite small but I pretty much adjusted to it uh, really quickly after like I don't know half an hour of using it half an hour of typing on it so I don't really think you should have uh, much problem adjusting to it but it definitely needs some some getting used to at least uh, but thankfully you still do get all the media control keys and um, everything else you need on a keyboard just with the press of an extra button uh, and also there's this uh, Windows and Mac toggle which uh, pretty much just switches the function of these two keys uh, it turns them from the Windows key and Alt to command and option uh, so it's very much compatible with uh, a Mac keyboard as well with a Mac device as well if I turn it on uh, you will see that if I press this button uh, it turns on the the Mac indicator right but uh, I don't want to show the actually let me just uh, turn off the backlight so yeah, uh, that's all I can say about the design. The backlight, I guess you can say it's part of the design. So there is backlight, but it's not implemented greatly. So uh, the backlight is there, uh, and it's very much customizable. I'll I'll show you a few of the clips of the different modes that it has, uh, and it definitely helps uh, in low light. But the light doesn't bleed through the keys. So these are printed and light doesn't exactly go through them, right? So that means that even in, if you're in the dark, you can't see whether like this key is Y or U. You just see like an outline of the keys. So hopefully you know your way around the keyboard and you can type without the need of much looking. So the, the backlighting is implemented not in the best way, but it's there and it is helpful 
so I can appreciate that. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, one of the best features of this keyboard, which is the multi-mode connectivity options. So you have five different modes of uh, connectivity options. This is like the best display of Rapu's multi-mode wireless technology that we can see in a lot of their mice, a lot of their keyboard. Uh, but this is like their best implementation because it also adds not only three Bluetooth devices that you can connect to at the same time and switch between them effortlessly, not only does it allow for a wireless uh, dongle in the box that you can connect to your PC, your stationary PC, uh, but it also comes with wired connectivity option, which you can use through this uh, really nice untangleable um, cable, which is USB-C, thank you very much. It also is gold-plated, but that's very much a gimmick, and I don't really even think that the gold goes very well with the, with the white cable. Uh, what I would have also loved to see is that if this cable matched the color of this keyboard, but uh, we're not getting that. It's just a standard white cable for all models. But yeah, uh, you can technically connect to five different devices and just switch between them with the press of the FN and one to five on the number row. So that's definitely a much appreciated feature if you have a lot of devices on uh, around you if you have like one PC in front of you you have a laptop that you frequently interact with and a tablet or a, a phone that you also like to type on a lot for whatever reason if you carry a lot of devices with you uh, this very much uh, can switch between them instantly uh, so, but I, I did mention if you carry around a lot of devices with you, this isn't really meant to be carried around. It is compact, but it is not light, exactly. Rapu has a lot of uh, other options, other keyboards that are much better for uh, people who are looking for portability. This isn't it. This is very much a stationary wireless keyboard. The wirelessness doesn't mean that it's portable. The compactness doesn't mean it's portable. The wirelessness just means less clutter. The compactness also means you just get more space on your desk. So uh, that's uh, another point about the design, I suppose, or the functionality, if you want to call it that. Uh, and now let's talk about what's underneath the keycap. So you've got uh, a very rare, I will say, in the current landscape of keyboards, black switch under this particular model. But let me emphasize that black isn't the only mechanical switch switch that the Realmo Pre 5 comes in. All right, you get the option for all the popular switches, you get the option for blue switches, uh, brown switches, uh, red, as well as black. So the black one here is a little bit stiffer than your typical linear red, which is very popular in uh, gaming keyboards because of its uh, lightness, the, the light actuation force of 45 grams in the red and 65 grams in the black, which does make this keyboard a little bit stiffer to use. But also, in my experience, I feel like it's, um, it's, a, it's a little bit more silent than your average red and definitely a lot more silent than your average uh, brown or blue switch which is which might be something that a lot of people are looking for so if you're looking for a silent keyboard more silent than others maybe you want to look into the black but uh, I do need to warn you uh, we're gonna uh, very quickly take a listen to the typing test but I do need to warn that the keys are a little bit stiffer than what you're probably used to. Maybe as stiff as a membrane keyboard, uh, but membrane keyboards are also varied a lot, so I can't really say like it's it's uh, stiffer than all membrane keyboards. No, it's probably stiffer than most, but not all of them. Uh, let's take a listen to the typing test and come back.
All right, so I enjoyed the typing experience overall. Uh, the roundedness of the keycaps did not at all affect my speed or anything of the sort. It's just like a design choice. I really don't think the, the design of the keycaps is gonna affect your typing speeds at all. I will have to say once more that the, that the black keys, that the black switches underneath the keycaps are a little bit on the stiffer side. I didn't mind it, it was just, it just felt different. That That's that's really it. I didn't feel like it slowed me down. It's just a little bit different feeling. Uh, but if you're used to reds, if you're used to blues or browns or blacks, you can go with either option. Although availability, uh, you definitely need to check the availability. Right? Um, perhaps not every store is going to have every color of the keyboard with every combination of mechanical switches that you want. So you need to check the availability in your region, in your retail stores around you. Now that is the uh, mechanical switches. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to say about the Realmo Pre 5. Uh, it's a very interesting, the, the, the biggest thing about this keyboard is definitely the design. All right, you are buying this keyboard for the design and also because you're not breaking the bank for a wireless compact mechanical keyboard that also looks really cool, especially in combination with the Remo Air 1 wireless mouse, which we will be featuring real soon on the channel. Uh, but until then, you're dealing with a quality wireless compact mechanical keyboard that is that, that comes in really interesting colors and can really flip the design flip the look of your desk upside down uh, it very much can be considered as a uh, as a fashion accessory to your to your work desk it's not particularly gaming looking so if you're going for that gaming aesthetic it's probably not you shouldn't probably look at this one. If you're going for like a kind of a minimalist work aesthetic, this will fit right in. Uh, and if you have, I don't know, uh, some uh, colored monitors, colored speakers, you can mix and match the keyboard and the mouse with them to make for a really interesting desk that, you know, stands out among the black and white uh, desk setups of most people. So you should also be looking at the Realmo Pre 5 as a fashion accessory addition to your uh, desk setup. Now with that said, I will leave it here. Make sure you leave a like if you like the video and subscribe to Newcom's YouTube channel for more mouse reviews, keyboard reviews, headset reviews, and all sorts of computer peripheral reviews if that's your thing. But I'll leave it here. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.